Enjoying it a lot. There were tutorials today. Just came in from Boston and uh, it seems to be a good crowd so far. Um, I've always been passionate about lasers and optics. Um, I went to MIT. I studied there for electrical engineering and computer science. Uh, did my bachelor's, master's, and PhD there, and then went on to uh, working with LiDAR systems at MIT Lincoln Laboratories for 12 years. During that time, uh, very exciting things were happening in the mobility industry, uh, specifically high resolution 3D as being a key requirement to actually access this to every car. And I was in a unique position uh, being a LiDAR researcher and um, I just thought there was a better way to get to 100 million vehicles and commercialize 3D technology. Uh, and so I started NODAR in 2018 and we're located in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, the autonomous vehicle market uh, for two reasons. One is that it has a lot, um, it's a very large market and it could benefit the most from our technology in the sense of safety. And also um, physically, it's actually very well fit to our technology. Our technology works best when you have a wide baseline between two cameras and vehicles being large, uh, two meters in cars or three meters in truck offers a very nice platform or baseline to have exquisite 3D information. Uh, the pain points are a multitude. So uh, in, in automotive, it's price, it's reliability, it's performance, um, and we're addressing all of those with just regular cameras as opposed to active LiDAR systems with technology that could be deployed sooner. So NODAR technology is essentially a wide baseline stereo vision sensor. Uh, we are a software company that enables the ability to take the full width of a vehicle. And we solve the alignment problem that's endemic in stereo vision. Uh, the requirement of these cameras is typically that they have to be stabilized to within a hundredth of a degree. And we just do all of that through software with no need to ship a calibration engineer with the product. Um, and so that's how our calibration system works. And then we use the rectified images to generate high quality 3D information. And we have IP around that to, to generate point clouds that almost look like they come from LiDAR systems. Uh, they're similar in that they both measure physical quantities. And this is why people love them for automotive. They, they need a reliable measurement. Uh, for safety critical systems. So LiDAR measures time of flight, the time it takes a, a photon to go out and come back. So it's a mapping between time and distance. Our system's triangulation based. We measure angles basically, determine distance. So it's not an interpreted measurement. Um, it differs in, in a couple of fundamental ways. Uh, it, um, we believe that our system has longer range and higher resolution than what LiDAR can offer. The longer range comes because of uh, the physical property of um, LiDARs. There's only so much power that you can transmit for eye safety, so there's a physical limit to the distance. Uh, and second, uh, the resolution or area coverage. Uh, light is limited by, speed of light is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. So in order to see a complete scene of say five million pixels that are 150 meters away, you actually have to wait for the light for about five seconds for that scene. And that's not fast enough. So if you're trying to see small objects in the road uh, at long distances, it's much faster and easier to do with a camera-based system. So Hammerhead Vision System is the name of our sort of uh, product, which uh, is after the Hammerhead Shark. Uh, wide baseline, obviously the best triangulation of the animal species. Um, so the the uh, capability that we've added is the ability to do um, high quality uh, calibration of stereo sensors and that in involves three things. One, being able to calibrate off of natural scenes, so not checkerboards or calibration targets, um, so without user intervention over 15 years. Second, being able to do that calibration fast enough uh, frame by frame to deal with the vibration of the vehicle. And then third, being able to do it accurately enough so that we can estimate things at a thousand meters. Uh, 
Uh, the unique selling proposition is high quality, dense 3D point clouds um, at camera prices with smart software and no calibration engineer required. Uh, target customers are anyone that needs high quality 3D information. Uh, right now we're focused on automotive OEMs and tier ones, um, but also it's a technology that's pretty general and useful to other robotics companies, as well as construction, agriculture, and military. Uh, the thing that I'm most proud of is the team that we've built up over the years. Um, very, very um, enthusiastic group of individuals who are very capable. Um, second, I'd say, um, you know, our eight POCs that we've done with uh, OEMs and tier ones, uh, as well as follow on pilot work that we're doing with that. Uh, we won a $1.7 million contract with the U.S. Army to show our system in harsh weather and in uh, rough environments. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's mainly it. Uh, so we just recently announced our Series A funding. Uh, we've raised $12 million from NEA uh, as a lead investor. Previously, we had a seed round led by Rhapsody Venture Partners out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, and before that, angel funding through Cherry Stone Angel Group. Uh, so the team uh, is a bunch of engineers from MIT, Oxford, RPI, very good schools who have been doing artificial intelligence, deep learning, and uh, computer vision their whole careers. Uh, my co-founder, Brad Rosen, also chief operating officer, is a um, serial entrepreneur. This is his seventh company, and he's had several successful exits. On the board, uh, we have Roger Nielsen, who recently retired as the CEO of Daimler Trucks North America. And we recently brought on uh, Greg Papadopoulos, who is formerly the CTO at Sun Microsystems. Uh, you can contact us at press at nodarsensor.com or visit our website, nodarsensor.com.